In this example, we begin with the following redux reaction on the standard conditions and at 25 degrees Celsius. Now, our goal is to find the equilibrium constant of the above redux reaction on the D standard conditions. So, let's begin by first writing out the two half reactions of this redux reaction. So, let's see which guy is oxidized and which guy is reduced. Well, our iron atom goes from a neutral charge to a plus two charge while our cadmium atom goes from a plus two charge to a neutral charge. That means this atom loses two electrons and this atom gains those same two electrons. So this is our oxidized atom and our reduced atom or our reducing agent and oxidizing agent. So let's go to step one and let's see our two half reactions. So our oxidation half reaction is the following. Our solid iron becomes a positively charged molecule plus two electrons because it releases those two electrons. While our cadmium uh, aqueous atom gains those two electrons, forming our cadmium solid. So this is our reduction reaction and oxidation reaction. So let's look at the cell diagram for this electrochemical cell. So remember, these two vertical lines represent the sold bridge and these guys sem simply represent uh, separations of phases. So this and this are in different phases and these guys are in different phases also. So this is our anode and this is our cathode. So what happens is two electrons leave this atom forming our aqueous iron atom and these two electrons travel via the conductor to this guy reacting with this positively charged atom forming our solid cadmium. So let's go to step two. Now in step two and three what we want to you or do is find a cell voltage of our electrochemical cell and then use the cell voltage to find our equilibrium constant Kc. So let's go to step two. Now this is our formula that we want to use to find the cell voltage where this is the cell voltage of the reduction reaction and the cell voltage of the oxidation reaction. Now we basically look these guys up uh, on our table for reduction half reactions on the standard conditions and we find that our reduction um, cell voltage is 0 0.403 negative while our oxidation half reaction is negative 0.44. Well actually our reduction going this way because only reduction half reactions are listed so we have to look at the guy going this way. So that is negative 0.44. Now I put this negative here and here because we want to convert this to an oxidation because in this anode oxidation not reduction occurs and that's why we have the negative sign here. So what we get is these negatives become a positive and we basically add this guy uh, to this guy and we get 0.037 volts. This is our cell voltage of our electrochemical cell. Now, in the previous lecture, we learned that there's a relationship between our cell voltage and our equilibrium constant, namely this equation here. Now we also saw in that same lecture that we can convert this formula at 25 degrees Celsius to the following formula. Log K equals number of moles times our cell voltage divided by this number here, 0.0592. Now this number comes from the fact that uh, both R and F are constants and at 25 degrees Celsius T is also constant. Now T is in Kelvin. And we also basically converted our natural log to log of base 10. Now, let's plug our guys in. So our E is from here. And N, we look at this equation, we see that N represents 2 moles of electrons. So N is 2. That's what we get. 2 times 0.037 result from this guy divided by 0.0592. And we get 1.25 equals log k. Now we change this entire thing to exponents and we get 10 to the 1.5. You plug that into the calculator and it's approximately 17.8. So our k is 17.8.
and what does that mean? Well, remember we said, if our K is above 1, that means our reaction is product favorite. It's spontaneous. So, this guy, the equilibrium lies on the right. That means almost all of these guys are converted to our products. And, and this is the same thing as our E. Remember, our E says what? Our E gives us a positive value for cell voltage. And what does a positive value for cell voltage mean? Remember, a positive value for cell voltage means our reaction is product favored. And a negative value means it's reacting favored. So this and this guy agree. And they state that this reaction will be favored in this direction.